Under pressure, you don't rise to the occasion, you sink to the level of your training. Archilochus, Greek soldier, 650 BC. That sounds like a dinosaur to me. Anyway, what's up guys, it's Greg Khalil. We're here to talk to you about your partner workout for the day. It's Saturday, teams of two, electric boogaloo. We're gonna do a warm up for you real quick though. We're gonna start out with 30 calf raises, holy cow. We're gonna break those up hopefully left, right, and then double up, but anyway, so we're gonna take those feet, raise up onto those toes, nice little squeeze at the top there for a little second pause, and then back down to the floor. <clears throat> After we do 30 calf raises, we're gonna do 20 plank shoulder taps, down to that plank position, wide base of the feet, so we stay nice and stable, Reach that right hand up to that left shoulder, tap, left hand up to that right shoulder. Amazing, nice and stable, nice and tight in the core here. We're then gonna go into 10 up downs. So we're gonna hinge over, hands hit the floor, kick back into a plank, nice and high with the hips here. We don't wanna be sagging our hips down to the floor. We're gonna do 10 of those and we'll repeat that whole cycle one more time. Then we're gonna grab a dumbbell and we're gonna do six and six around the world. That dumbbell's gonna start out right in front of my face. I'm gonna curl it around my head one way, six times, then we'll do six in the other direction. You can go one way six times, or you can alternate back and forth, as long as we do six in each direction. Make sure that dumbbell passes in a nice orbit around the cranium, hence around the world, right? And the world doesn't revolve around us, or maybe it does revolve around some of us with your egos that big, <clears throat> which mine is. Anyway, it's my world, you all live in it. <clears throat> we're then gonna go and do eight dumbbell curl to press. So we're gonna take one in each hand, Shoop. second dumbbell, we're gonna curl it up to the top here and push it up overhead, and we're gonna do eight on each arm. So, let's hold my near hammer, there. yep, curl, and up, yep. So we take that dumbbell curl up to the shoulder and then push it up overhead, nice and simple. We're gonna do eight on each arm. Excellent, excellent. Warming up our shoulders here because we're gonna be putting a lot of dumbbell weight above our head in this workout. It's gonna be great. <clears throat> After we do eight and eight, we're gonna drop down and do 10 alternating lunges. You can do these forward or backward, as long as you're keeping a nice width between your feet at the top and the bottom of the lunge. We're walking on train tracks, not a tightrope, people. So we're gonna come down, gently tap that knee as long as we're staying nice and tall at the bottom of that lunge as well. I'm happy. Fantastic. <clears throat> That's gonna get us into our partner workout today, guys. It is four time, teams of two. You're gonna start out by doing, well, it's a triplet here. So we're gonna do devil's press, goblet lunges, and a 400 meter run. We're gonna do a set of 80, 80, 400 meter run. Then 60, 60, 400 meter run. 40, 40, 400 meter run. 20, 20, 400 meter run. You know, so you're gonna start out with 80 alternating dumbbells, devil press. Oh, sorry, they're alternating. You're only gonna do this with one dumbbell. Oh my God, I didn't read alternating earlier. So it's gonna be the same motion. So that dumbbell's gonna start in the ground. On one hand, you're gonna do a burpee, and stand up, swing that dumbbell between your legs, snap it up overhead, and you put it on the floor, switch hands, and do the same thing on the other side. Boop. Nice. Once you and your partner have completed 80 of these, <clears throat> then you're gonna do Sorry, goblet lunges. So we're gonna hold that dumbbell up in the goblet position and you're gonna do alternating lunges. You can step backwards or forward here. Tap that knee gently to the ground. Tap that knee gently to the ground. And then a 400 meter run. So those are three movements. While partner one is doing devil's press. So when he's doing devil's press, I'm gonna be holding a tall plank. What that looks like, that means I'm gonna be down in that plank position, I'm gonna be on my hands. So I'm gonna hold nice and tight here, nice and stable. When my partner says, oh my gosh, these devil presses suck. I'm done, your turn. So we'll swap out. I will start doing devil's presses and then my partner will start doing a high plank. Once you move on to the goblet lunges, we're gonna be doing one partner doing goblet lunges, the other partner is going to be doing a wall sit. So you're gonna be over by the wall, try and keep your thighs nice and horizontal in that position, pressing into the wall. Ah, that's gonna suck. And then when your partner's like, oh my God, these lunges are killing me, or you fall out of your wall sit, you're gonna split, switch positions, sorry. So you're gonna start doing the lunges and then they'll do the wall sit. Then both partners run the 400 meters together. Once you complete the round of 80, you're gonna come back in and you're gonna do 60 and 60, go for a run. Then 40, 40, go for a run. 20, 20, go for a run. Come back in, collapse and die. And then we'll all be like, hooray, it's all over. Huzzah. Sounds like a lot of fun. I can't wait to see it and do it with you guys. We will see you there.